We go green in Monaco. Pretty good start from Evans. Vern got away a little slowly. Verline is going to the outside as they come into Sandovot. Lock up from Evans. Gets it in. The top five remain in place. Robin Freitz cuts the corner. He will maybe lose a position there. Oh, and Verline comes for the move. Side by side in the chicane. Oh, big lockup from Verline. Really interesting decision. And these two battling it out is bringing the rest of the field into play. There goes Freitz. Freitz gets Lotterer. And Roland goes for it. Can't quite get it done on the Costa. And now Dennis has got the run on Roland up the hill. Side by side through Beau Ravage. Dennis is in attack mode. They're still side by side and they're both going to go past the Costa into Massonet. Goodness me, how is this going to end up? Into attack mode goes jean eric Verne. And it is Roland who comes out in front, then the DS to Jeter, then Jake Dennis. Verne has activated his attack mode. We're watching this battle here. This is obviously the Costa has run out of energy he's managing to defend off Dennis that's well done because Dennis has only got eight seconds to go the Costa's just got to hold on till to back oh, De oh he's touched him they've touched from behind Dennis ran into the back of him as the Costa defended so Evans is going to go through attack mode here keeps to the right hand side into the lead goes Pascal Verlein Van Dorn follows through as does Lucas de Grassi all of a sudden John Eric Verne is in second place and in attack mode but he's only got 40 seconds left Wow! Wow! It's Van Dorn. <laughs> move from Van Dorn. Goes past Price. Here comes Verline into attack mode. Vern goes through. Evans comes out ahead. Side by side. So Jean Eric Vern takes the lead, but he's going to have his work cut out now. And there is Evans losing out to uh, to Pascal Verline. There, they're really Saving energy. They're really short on energy here. The Jaguar team as Evans now drops down to third. Verne, is he going to cover the inside? He does. Verline to the outside, takes the lead of the Monaco e -Prix. Van Dorn is also up into third place in the silver Mercedes. Oh, is that Verline, Verline, yeah, Verline in trouble. Verline slowing. He's hit the wall. Has From he hit the, the lead wall? of the race, it looks as though the back left is a bit wonky. Here's Robin Freitz and Lotterer steaming into the chicane, crunching each other. And Freitz loses out as well to Oliver Rowland, who gets ahead. As they come down towards Tabak, Mortara and Da Costa side by side into Tabak. And Mortara comes out in front there. And there, Vern goes for his second attack mode pretty swiftly. And that means that Van Dorn is now in the lead. And oh, he's grinding to a halt. Grinding to a halt here, Pascal Verline. And that could be a full course yellow. Watch Verline down at the bottom. He locks up. And then just sort of just sort of slows down doesn't he yeah whoa roland roland absolutely lobbed it into turn one and it's ended up with lotter in the wall and the safety car is deployed safety car deployed this was just full send from roland well he was there it was a legitimate move but then lost it oh just a little touch he was, he was so quick but look he was having the accident on his own but he, he, he just yeah. ended up hitting the, he was heading to the barrier on his own. I think unfortunately for Andre he was there. Van Dorn gets going into Anthony Noakes and the race resumes. He's got a pretty decent getaway here. Down towards Sandavot. Degrassi to the inside. Freitz can't find the way through. Now up the hill. He's got a good run out of Sandoval. Let's see how brave he's going to be up the hill through Beau Ravage. Here we go. Very brave and very through. Oh, look at the car dancing on the brakes. Mitch Evans goes into attack mode from second place. Is he going to come out in head of France? It's going to be very close. No, France has the inside. So France now all of a sudden is up into third position. And coming down into Sandoval, France doesn't fight too hard. Evans is through. Evans to the outside. Can Verne hold him off? No, Evans gets through. Stoffel van Dorn wins the Monaco e Prix and moves to the lead of the championship. Drago, mate. Yes, yes, boys. This is the one we just won Monaco! <laughs> Stoffel van Dorn takes the victory. 1.2 seconds ahead of Mitch Evans with jean eric Verne in third. As far as the Drivers' Championship is concerned, Stoffel van Dorn leads six points ahead of Jean-Eric Verne.